right. So we'll be working with the deep half guard. All right, so we are going to start right here. Today we're gonna do a little bit of top, but before we do the top, I wanna give a little emphasis on, on, on that underhook. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so once I get the deep half bar right here, okay, uh, something that is really bad if you are on bot is this, all right, that underhook. Okay, this underhook is really, really bad. I cannot let that happen, all right? So if he gets the hand right here under my arm, I still have time. I don't need to panic right here, all right? Because he's gonna, as soon as he tries to get deeper on that, look at, I can easily recover the position, all right? So the problem is when he gets that hand and he gets that elbow. So now I cannot recover this anymore, all right? So look, if I keep, if I have my, my elbow open, and he starts to get the underhook. So first thing that I have to do is to pinch. Okay, I'm gonna pinch his wrist. All right, that will give me time to go. And this is what I want you guys to work. So he's gonna get, pinch, time to work right here. See like my hand, when I get that underhook right here, it is. So right a chop, right here. Okay, right by his elbow right here, and then I get it. So he's gonna go one, oh, pinch, karate chop, get deeper, okay? Pinch, karate chop, and get deeper, all right? So the person on top, try to keep a good balance, all right? And then let the person on bottom to work, okay? So not to go here and get super fast, they don't, they don't even, even have time to work, all right? So he gets one, and pull. Go at and go. All right. It's gonna be one minute. Okay, so one more time. So pay attention right here. Yeah. So here is the deep half part. He gets the deep half part before he gets deeper with the underhook. So what I want to do is I want to catch the, the hand right there. That will give me time to gather my other hook. So one and two. So you go one and two. Even if I don't pinch right here, that's okay. But this is just to slow him down a little bit. All right? But if I if you don't do that, that's no problem. I just need to get my hand right there. All right? So he gets the, the other hook, and I have to go. So now he's going a little deeper, and I go. Look, if I'm here, and he gets them, it's easier for him to get them the hook. It's harder for me to recover now, all right? So if I'm here, and I feel like he's getting the other hook, I want back on the mat and get the other hook, all right? So go one and two. Now, one and two, just to create some space. I try to do something right here that's not going to happen. I need that space and I get it. All right, so you can start with the deep half bar right here. He's going to get the underhook. All right, so I'm going to go one and two. One and two. All right, so that's very, very important. Okay, there is no sweeps if you lose that. You have to recover. Okay, so let's see. One minute. Okay, time. So now let's see what happens if he gets that underhook really deep. What should I do? All right, so I'm here, bottom. Got my deep half guard. 
all right? And then he got the B right here. I don't like this position right here, all right? I, I like to give up the deep half bar, all right? Because I don't like to work here. He gets this, he has a, a chance to get a really good control of his arm. So once he gets the underhook, so what I want? First, I want to put my hands together right here, all right? Because this is bad, but could be worse. It's worse when he moved my, uh, my elbow away from my body, all right? If my elbow is tight, that's okay. There's no danger, but as soon as he starts to move, now my arm is really vulnerable. So that's why I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna put, place my hands together. Once I play my, place my hands together, I'm looking to a grip right here on his knee. All right? This is not a strong grip because he's on the outside. So he can easily break this grip. So this is just for the second. All right? So I have my hands together. I'm going to go and get a grip. Once I get a grip, I'm, I'm out of this. I'm going to turn into him. I'm going to place this hand here on his hip. And I'm going to get my hook right here, right behind his knee. So from this position, I have the chance to go and recover my deep half guard. All right? So again, he gets the deep half guard. One, hands together. Two, get a grip. Three, is this hand right here is important, all right? So I'm going to go, I'm going to move. One, I'm going to place his hand on the hip because I don't want him to throw this leg over my head. Four, I'm going to heap out and I'm going to get this hook right here. All right, so I'm hooking his, his leg. So now I'm in a better position. I can go and recover the under hook. If I control this arm right here, I can try to do a sweep, a hook sweep, but I, I'm out of that deep half guard, okay? So let's go. Let's try to do that. Okay, time. And finally a position on top. Okay, so what should I do when I'm on top? Okay. So look, I'm gonna take advantage. I, I want to do this right when he gets that deep half guard. Not when the person starts to adjust all the grips, you know, get this lead, control the leg, block my my leg with the with the head. So as soon as he gets, as soon as I feel like the person is getting that deep half guard, this is when I want to do something. All right, so here, so he's gonna start right there in the regular half guard. And once he gets that arm between my legs and he starts to pull, I already know that he, what he wants to do. I know that he wants to get that deep half guard. All right, so he's gonna get anyways one. And look at that. My knee, I'm gonna place my shin on his on his neck. I'm gonna try to get my hand in right here. I'm gonna push this one and I'm gonna pull my foot. All right, so this foot goes right here on the mat. All right, because I don't want him to turn away. His hand right here, so what happened? I know that once he feels like he cannot turn away, he's gonna turn into me. So this is important. If I don't have this hand right here, if for some reason this arm is, he's gonna get on top, all right? So this hand, just the hand right here, once he turns into me, look at that, I get deeper with the other hook and I can establish that side control position, all right? So this one is as soon as he gets that deep half bar. Once he starts to establish that position, that's very hard, all right? So here, again, he gets the deep half guard. One, look at my, 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 his knee. 
I'm going to swipe his knee as far as I can. I'm sitting on my side. I just need my hand right here. I don't need to get the underhook. It's just my hand. Once I get this, look at that. I'm going to pull my foot and step on the mat. He tries to turn away. Arm against my leg. That's not going to work. He's going to try to turn into me. I get deeper with his underhook and then I establish that position. What is important? This leg is really important. All right, because what I'm doing here is I'm going to push, I'm going to push and pull at the same time. Because the guy on bottom is thinking about so many things, getting the deep head guard, trying to establish that position. That's the moment that maybe he's not paying attention too much about keeping the knees together. All right, so that's why I can easily go. So my foot cannot be like this. When I pull, my foot's right there. So I pull, step on the mat, get them the hook. All right, so one more time. He gets the deep half guard. One, I'm going right here, look at my head. Right there, he turns into me. Even easier to get this deeper. All right, look what I have, I already have. The setup for so many things right here. I can go do my spinning arm bar. I can go right here. Look at that. His arm is between my legs. I can go and do my choke from the from side mount. All right. Let's go, guys. That's the last one for today.